Huge news from Stability AI, the company that brought us Stable Diffusion. They've just released a new AI image generator model called Stable Cascade. Now from their example photos here, it looks absolutely amazing. So I'll leave the link to that GitHub page in the description, as well as this demo you can try out on Hugging Face. So you can use it here if there's not too much demand for it. So we'll check that out. Alternatively, you can use Pinocchio, which is a one-click solution for installing AI apps onto your computer locally. This is a really amazing program. So just download this. It's completely free and you can use all these different AI apps. So I'm installing Stable Cascade using Pinocchio right now. Meanwhile, let's head over to this Hugging Face demo space and try out this new AI image generator. I'm really excited about this. So here are our advanced options, negative prompt obviously, see things that we're used to and a couple new things. Like we have prior guidance scale, we have prior inf inference steps, we have decoder guidance scale and then decoder inference steps. So let's give this our classic prompt, a llama riding a skateboard and let's hope that it's not too busy. And here is our image. That is very, very decent, except it's only got three legs. Let's see if we just run it again. Interesting, still three legs, but the image looks really, really good. So there we go. I just put in three legs in the negative prompt. And here is our llama now. The perspective is a little bit weird here, but this is a very simple prompt. And the coolest thing about this whole thing is that like all stability AI models, this is completely open source and completely free, which is unlike, you know, all the other best image generators like Dolly 3 and Midjourney. So people can actually use this code and build upon it to make it suit any number of use cases and just improve it like we've seen with Stable Diffusion. All right, let's try a cat made out of dishwashing soap bubbles. There we go, that's really impressive. Look at the detail on the fur. Looks really, really nice. I mean, for completely free and open, this is this is really good. How about if we say a 3D render of soap bubbles spelling the word subscribe, see how good it is with text. I'm guessing it's not gonna be as good as Dolly 3. Yep, it tried, um, but it's definitely, definitely not as good as Dolly 3, I think. How about if we give it a bit more detailed prompt for something like a digital wallpaper portrait of a samurai in black armor, highly detailed, at night, dramatic cinematic lighting, rainy, reflections in puddles, dramatic composition. Let's run that. There we go, that is fantastic. I mean, he's up to his knees in the water, but it looks really good. I am extremely impressed with this model. So apparently the model's built on the Wursten architecture, which literally just means sausage in German. And one of the main differences of that to other models like Stable Diffusion is that it's working with a much smaller latent space. So Stable Diffusion compresses your image to a factor of eight, meaning that your 1024 by 1024 image is being encoded to 128 by 128. Stable Cascade can actually compress to a factor of 42, meaning it will get that same image down to 24 by 24, which is insane. All the extensions that you know of, like LoRa's and ControlNet, all of that's possible. Generally, it's outperforming everything else. Just look at these images, really, really cool. Here we have a woman wearing a dress made entirely out of cheese, photorealistic. And as with Stable Diffusion, it has trouble with the eyes, especially when you have a full body shot like this. Let's see how it does with close-up faces. And again, I'm leaving everything at the default settings. So definitely play around with the guidance scales and the steps, especially the guidance scales. But here we go, completely base model, no LoRa's or anything. It's okay, it's not uh, it's not photorealistic, definitely. So let's try something again with some words. A corgi with the sign on its back that says no heavy petting. So as we can see, it's not on his back and it does say reeting instead of petting. Dog looks pretty good though. So I just changed it to a photorealistic corgi with the same text. And then we will up our prior guidance scale to about six and a half, maybe. I'm not actually quite sure what decoder guidance scale does. It is on zero, so that's interesting. Let's try running this, though. Still not on its back, not photorealistic, and still misspelling the words. Let's up it a bit more. So here it did get the words right. Still, it's not on its back. Maybe it's just having trouble doing that. But this is definitely usable for certain use cases, depending on what you want to do. And like I said, of course, you can add LoRa's to this generator, making it extremely versatile, just like Stable Diffusion. Check out Stable Cascade for yourself. All the links will be in the description. So I just had to share this news with you because I think it's absolutely amazing. And I'm always super excited for new, especially open source AI tools. So if you're like me and really into this stuff, join our Discord. I want to make it a huge AI community. And also leave a like or subscribe if you want to see more of this content and I'll see you next time.